Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today your skills or your knife knowledge skills will be tested today. So it's your job, or what you are going to, going to do is name the blade shape that I pull up before I say them. I'm going to give you a couple seconds, and let's see how good you guys do. We have a bunch of them. Let me know down in the comments how well you did. Let's start this off. Name that blade shape. This is a straight clip point because it's a clip point blade and you can see it is straight. It doesn't uh, trail up at all. Next. Spear point dagger. If you said spear point or dagger, you got it. And the reason why is because the top, the spine and the edge, which it's a double edge. So this would be a double edge spear point dagger. So you can see both edges do the exact same thing and meet in the center, which would be the spear point and the, the double edge is the dagger. Next, sheep's foot. It's a sheep's foot blade, not because of the way it looks, but sheep's foot blades were actually used to shave on um, the hooves of, of sheep, of their feet. <laughs> so it, it was made so that the tip wasn't very sharp, so it wouldn't poke them so they could kind of go around the, the hooves. Next, Warncliffe. Warncliffe blade, and the reason why is because the, the spine tapers down all the way down to a straight edge. So it's a, um, a continuous taper all the way down and then the edge is straight. This is a great example of a Warncliffe. Japanese Tonto. So it's a Japanese Tonto because it's a straight back and it has the belly or it's rounded in the Tonto area rather than perfectly straight which would lead to this one. What is that? That would be a American Tonto because it has an acute point here and it's straight. So you see how this is perfectly straight right there? Now this is technically a drop point American Tonto because the tip does drop down. Next, this one also comes in only a flipper option. If you don't like hold deployments, I will link <laughs> I will link all this stuff down in the description. What is the name of this blade shape? This is a shillin cutter. So that's a shillin cutter blade shape. Next. Ooh, look at that. What is that? That is a spear point because the spine and the edge do the exact same thing and meet in the middle. Next. Clip point, trailing clip point, you can call it a clip, po clip point buoy or a trailing clip point or, um, you know, a clip point with a little uh, trail in it where it trails up a little bit. What is this one? This one would be a trailing point. Some would call it a Persian. So Persian or trailing point will be accepted. All right, guys, really quick, I want to talk to you guys about O-Knife. They have a um, site-wide or store-wide sale up to 40% off. Now, anything that's not on sale, you can still use our discount code NEVES for 10% off. But they have a bunch of things on sale, including the Freeze 2, which you can see right here. This is the copper version that I put a shipwrecked patina on. I think I have a video on how I did it. And then... You can see the original one, how it was to now. Oh, looks so good. Um, I like this knife. Now, they also have it in aluminum. This one's the green aluminum. Amazing action. Fantastic detent. Great flipper. If you're a flipper type of guy, this is this is a great flipper. And then you can see they got it in the, the faux carbon fiber. Um, now, the clip is inset, deep carry. Or no, this one's not inset. I'm sorry. It's just flat screws, but it's a deep carry clip. Then we have... The the i5R EOS 350 lumens. What's cool about this is you can uh, go through the modes without actually pushing the button, like all the way. You can just kind of half push it. But um, but yeah, it's a uh, pretty bright light. 
very um, compact, nice little EDC light. And then if you really want to go smaller, they have these with 90 lumens. These are really cool. I think everybody should have one of these on their keychain. They're super bright for how small they are. And it's just, you know, a good quality light. And it's not a rechargeable one, so you just switch the battery. Now, they also have these pens that is a functional pen that writes really good in aluminum. They have all different colors, all different kinds. But then it also has a laser pointer. You just push this button and hold it up or you can just tap it and then a flashlight comes on and then if you hold it up you can go through the bro the modes for brightness this pen's also it comes with a charger because it is rechargeable and an extra refill for when you run out of ink with a nice little carrying case but yeah Pretty cool stuff. Like I said, up to 40% off. Now, they do have crossbar lock knives now. I'm not for sure if this is going to be on sale or not, but they do have them. Um, and they might be on sale. I'm not sure. This one's got an inset deep carry clip. That's why I almost said this one does. Um, that is reversible. And you can see it's the crossbar lock, 154cm aluminum scales. Really cool knife. So, like I said, up to 40% off on the O Knife site. I will link everything down in the description. Next. This one's a little bit weird, huh? What is this one? What is this one? So this would be a harpoon sheep's foot. A hollow ground harpoon sheep's foot to be exact. Next. So I would call this a Spanish spear point. So Spanish spear points are the same thing as a regular spear point, but usually the tip is just a little bit lower than the center of the pivot. Um, but I would have took spear point if that's what you said. Speaking about Spanish spear points, just to show you a great example of what I think a Spanish spear point is, I think this is a great example of a Spanish spear point. So I gave you guys that one. Next. That is a straight back because the spine of the blade is perfectly straight, as you can see. Next. Ooh, what is that? That is a harpoon recurve, or you could say a harpoon clip point. Harpoon. If you said clip point or drop point, you know, I'll give you a little leeway, but it's a harpoon drop point recurve. So it's a recurved harpoon. Next. So this one's already came up. So hopefully you already know this. This is a clip point buoy. Clip point buoy. Am I trying to trick you guys or what? What is this one? <laughs> a big belly clip point buoy. <laughs> Next. What is that? Now I'm gonna tell you this is double edged. It's sharpened here, here, and here, as you can see. So what is the name of this blade shape? Well, this is a real reverse tanto. You hear a lot of people calling certain blade shapes reverse tantos when they are almost never an actual reverse tanto, but this is a real reverse tanto. It is sharpened up here. So like some people call like the Benchmade 940, uh, um, a reverse tanto, but it's not sharpened on the spine or on the top of the edge. Next. Now, I, I, I'll accept if you just said drop point, but what is the name of this kind of blade? This is a Scandi. It's a drop point Scandi grind. Next. <laughs> what would you call this remember everything will be linked down in the description in order that the video um used it so if you're wondering any names or any information just go click the link this is the a um i would call it personally uh just a sheep's foot but you could call it a trailing sheep's foot i guess next So I'll accept two answers for this one. Man, it's almost a spear point, ain't it? Actually, you know what? 
man, I would almost accept three answers for this. If you said leaf shape, I would accept that. If you said spear points, I guess I have to accept that because the spine and the edge do the exact same thing. Um, but a lot of people would call this a drop point. But um, yeah, it's kind of like a spider co blade shape in a way, which would be considered a leaf shape or a drop point. What would this be? Now, this I will accept two answers. So the real answer is a modified Warncliffe. So this edge is not straight, right? But if it was straight, it would be a real Warncliffe like this. This is a, a perfect example of a Warncliffe. Perfect example. This is close to that, but the, there's a little bit of belly on the edge. So you could also just call it a drop point. Next. <laughs> what would you call this man this thing is so fidgety and you can use it as a money clip which is pretty cool it does come with an extra clip though that you can you know it's just a regular deep carry clip it's also a front flipper because it has the jimping but the blade shape of this would be a modified cleaver modified cleaver then what would you call this blade shape what is this blade shape? I'm only accepting one answer for this one. And it is a cleaver blade shape. A cleaver. Next. This would be a harpoon horn cliff. Nice straight edge. You can see how it actually just has a poon, you know, um, so it's a, it's a harpoon worn cliff, but you can see how they cut this out right here for the thumb, making it a harpoon. So it's a harpoon worn cliff. Next. Ooh, what would this be called? It's a little difficult, right? This would be a Japanese recurved tanto. You could also call it a drop point Japanese recurve uh, dual ground or triple ground <laughs> blade shape because it has three different grinds here um, from the cutting edge but you could say dual ground uh, but anyways yeah a drop point Japanese style recurve tanto what a mouthful what is that that would be I would call it a leaf shape you could also call it a drop point but uh, I'm going to call it a leaf shape. So if you said clip point, I will accept it, but I don't want to. Because the drop starts before the thumb stud. So this would be more of a drop point, a big belly drop point. Um, kind of like how a sabenza is. But... You know, technically, when it's a straight, straight like this, you could, you know, sometimes call it a clip point. But usually, that doesn't start until over, way past the deployment option or the beginning of the blade. So that's why I'm calling it a drop point. Fight me. Now here's a blade shape that a lot of people might call a reverse tanto. That I, I do not though. What is the actual name of this blade shape? Well, we kind of just spoke about it. This would be a straight clip point. Or you could, I would accept a, a sheep's foot kind of, but it's more of a clip point. Anyways, there you guys go. Hopefully you guys did well. Let me know down in the comments how you guys did or if you want to contest any of the blade shapes I said. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.